a boy who was shot and killed by a Cleveland police officer last month. Now, the medical examiner today ruling Tamir Rice's death a homicide. Police say Rice was pointing a pellet gun at people shortly before the officers pulled up and shot him. They mistook that pellet gun for a real firearm. Uh, they drew, between when they drove up and he was killed, it was about one and a half seconds. It happened in the blink of an eye. So is this enough to indict the officer? Joe Johns is out front. We want to warn you that some of what you are about to watch may be disturbing. The official cause of death, gunshot wound of torso with injuries of major vessel intestines and pelvis, homicide. In translation, we now know that Tamir Rice was killed by one shot to the left side of his abdomen. The question is whether his death at the hands of a Cleveland police officer is considered justifiable under Ohio law. The tragedy is still being investigated. One factor may be whether the officer knew he was facing a minor in spite of Tamir Rice's size. Former prosecutor Roger Cannon. Tamir was such a, just a large child, he was 195 pounds, even though he was 12 years old, that potentially constitutes uh, a defense, because if police officers encountered who they reasonably believed was an adult, just simply due to his size, then the rules tend to change, particularly if this large individual is waving what appears to be an actual weapon at them. And that's the other thing. Twice a witness calling into 911 warned that the weapon the child was carrying was likely a toy. I'm sitting in the park at West Boulevard by the West Boulevard Rapid Transit Station. And there was a guy in there with a pistol. You know, I saw his face, but he's like pointing at everybody. But that information apparently never got relayed to the officers responding to the call. Everybody's tied up on priorities. Some three guys sitting on the swings pointing a gun at people. So the, the officers may not have known that, one, he was a juvenile, and two, even more crucially, that they were dealing with what was probably a, a fake handgun. Another factor, the orange tip on the toy gun had been removed. The boy's family has already filed suit against the two officers. They want the officers charged before the grand jury hears the case. Tamir was a bright child. He had a promising future. And um, he was very talented in all sports. Soccer, basketball, football, he played the drums.